So Dan, um, end of a, it was your second time of really spending some quality time, quality time, you know, visiting family and stuff. Um, it is like visiting family though. Very much so. So you've come down with Veronica again, mm -hmm. and it looks like you've been like uh, keeping tabs on everyone as, as well. What's it, what's it been like second time around? It's, it's been awesome. I mean, you know, like we, we know what to expect here. We've got great knowledge, we've got great sparring partners. The, the sessions are intense, which is why we're here. We want that intensity. Um, and you know, it, 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 work, it works out perfect for a mid part of training camp to really get those hard rounds with some of the best the best players in, in the country. Um, it, it's been a really productive couple of weeks. So obviously you're preparing for Veronica's fight in December, right? Where's she fighting this time around? Uh, December 2nd, Austin, Texas. Okay, so how, how do you feel? One of the worst questions asked. How are preparations going? <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I've, I am beyond impressed with her, right? Like last time when we came here, it was the first time we've done a training camp together and like we, we were working on a few things, but there was a lot of things that we needed to kind of settle down. She'd been out for three years, so we needed to kind of, you know, have, have a very basic plan going forward, understand what we're gonna be up against and, and then, you know, basically win the rounds, win the moments in the rounds. And that's what she did. She was a massive underdog coming in. She won all three rounds against the winner of the Ultimate Fighter. And I honestly couldn't have been more happy with, with her performance. But I also watched it back several times and thought to myself, this is not even a fraction of what she can do. Mm. Um, and it's nice because obviously, you know, she trained with Ash, and, uh, Ash Grimshaw last time we were here. And in a few months, he's seen a big difference in her game. She's settled down. A level of like, like fight IQ and maturity when it comes to the, the fight game has improved massively. And I'm, I'm expecting a whole new height from her. I think, yeah, I mean, obviously she took she had a, a, a lengthy time off, but the thing I was impressed against in the Juliana Miller fight was just her, she just didn't accept it. When Juliana wanted to kind of put her in a place where she felt more comfortable, Veronica was like, no, 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 we're not doing that. But the thing that I've noticed personally is just the, the ferociousness of the, that's kind of coming out of her, especially the last session you guys had in the, in the cage. Yeah. That looked like a, like a, I was, documenting an assault on my yeah. <laughs> almost. I think she realized the potential against Miller. I think she realized that, you know, she handled that fight fairly comfortably. Mm. She, she wasn't really challenged in any positions. She, she let a couple of things on the ground get a little deeper than she would in any training session. Like there are positions that she was in in that fight that she just wouldn't ever find herself in in training because she's, I, I guess, I mean, you know, Little bit of a uh, little bit of ring rust, maybe octagon jitters, but she she wasn't she wasn't putting it on the girl like she could have done. Like I know she can, and now she's got that win under her belt, and now we've had a really solid training camp. We've reviewed the fight, um, and we've also had you know we, like we talk all the time. You can imagine she's stuck with me all the time, and I do nothing but watch MMA. So like she's dealing with me talking at her all the time about the right mentality for training like this is professional violence right we, you have to be as brutal and as mean like we are we are professional people breakers right i keep trying to say that to her like every time you get an opportunity to do as much damage to a person as you can do it do it without remorse because they're going to do the same thing to you mm. and if they have a moment where they're hesitating then you've already got the upper hand like viciousness was one of the main things about my game that, that made me excel i wasn't massively technical or very physical or athletic compared but my meanness and my fight IQ is what got me through and she has all of that as well as the physicality. So what was it like obviously you've, you, we've seen the improvements in Veronica obviously you've come down between the two camps is there any like kind of fires you've kind of gone well bloody hell what happened to you like I mean, obviously we've got a few in prep for worlds which we'll speak about in just a second but is there anyone you're kind of obviously your PFL eye who have you kind of been looking around and being like, wow, that's somebody I'd love to have in a PFL? Well, honestly, I could sign everybody on the mat, to be honest. I mean, you know, there there's, there's, there've been so many impressive fighters here and people impress me from one session to the next. You know, of course, the fighters that I've been focusing on, you know, Simeon, Don Wooden, Chanel, um, Louis Sutherland, I always, I'm always interested to see how he's progressing, especially as a heavyweight, because mm. I feel like, I feel like the region is wide open for a heavyweight to come and you know take over. Uh, Emma has been very very impressive. Um, I, I, I looked at uh, her results from her physical testing in the week as well up in uh, up at the Athlete Factory in Manchester in Chester. She's she's got a lot of potential. She's a specimen. And, yeah, she is. I'm gonna look to get her on a PFO as soon as I can. That's brilliant. All right, well, it's lovely. Always lovely to have you. We can't wait to have you again. Thanks, Dan. No